Hey guys, I'm Danny. I'm Steven. And we're here at First Build talking about Mela. So Mela 2.0 is gonna be the next unit we launch and it's gonna be the production crowdfunding version. And we're gonna talk about all the features it's gonna to have today. So for Mela 2.0, we're gonna keep the side water tank. Uh, this was a recommendation that you guys pointed out to us. Uh, and our friend Tony over at Fresh Cap said that he really likes about the version 1.5. So we're gonna keep that for the 2.0. Uh, we're gonna keep this molded base, uh, which makes it really easy to access your humidification system. Uh, so we'll have a fan that you can simply slide up and remove, and then that'll give you easy access to your humidification media. Uh, and this will be a consumable, so something you can replace uh, every three to four grows. So we had questions about what control you guys would prefer on the unit, and we sent out a survey to all of you guys who signed up to be in our newsletter. And you guys responded with some really great feedback. Uh, we were first a little bit worried that Wi-Fi maybe wasn't the right move for this product. You know, a lot of people really want to have onboard controls and want to be able to dial it in without having to log into an app. Uh, and so because of your feedback, we're actually going that route right now. We're working on building basically a simpler control with onboard knobs you can use to control the humidity and fresh air exchange on the unit itself. All right, so we have got some questions from you guys. Uh, so we're gonna go through these and answer them as best we can. So Bill from New York says, will it have a heater? Uh, Bill, this unit will not have a heater. Uh, right now we're really just focusing on the essentials to get this unit out as fast as possible to you guys. Joe also asked from North Georgia, when will we be able to purchase Mela? So we're hoping to crowdfund Mela by the end of the year. Uh, and then after our crowdfund ends, it'll be between four and six months between, uh, before Mela will be delivered to you. Uh, this gives us time to nail down our production and sourcing so we can make sure we can get all the parts and get them shipped out in a timely manner. Yahya from Egypt asked, is Mela 2.0 going to be the first mass production release? Uh, and yes, it is. So this will be the first unit that we're gonna release out to the public and we're gonna do that through a crowdfund. Yahya also asked, do we ship internationally? Right now we are not shipping internationally, we're just focusing on the US, but as soon as we branch out, we'll let you guys know. We've also got a bunch of questions on how to clean this unit. Uh, so something about Mela 2.0 that is gonna be super nice is we have all of these nice flat stainless steel surfaces. Uh, so you can simply wipe them down uh, with a paper towel or with some alcohol wipes, and it'll be really easy to clean. Also, the humidification system, the filter media is easily removed, so you can simply take this out, wash it out under the sink, uh, which will keep this fresh, and it'll last anywhere from two to four grow cycles. Also, the Mela 2.0 water tank has roughly a one gallon capacity, and this will last anywhere between five to seven days uh, of sustained mushroom growing. A lot of you have been asking how many fruiting blocks you can fit inside Mela. It's really gonna depend on the size of your fruiting blocks, but typically two to four fruiting blocks will fit without any problems. So a lot of the feedback we got was that Wi-Fi may be not so important, but CO2 is super important. So something Steven and I have been working on now is basically trying to get a CO2 sensor on the Mela for the crowdfunding. We know how important it is to you guys to be able to monitor and control CO2 levels. Uh, so that's something we're focusing on right now. Uh, we don't have the price details and all of the information all worked out just yet, but as we figure it out, we'll let you guys know. Thanks for all your questions that you submitted. We're getting so close to the launch of Mela 2.0. So make sure you guys go to melamushroom.com so you can sign up for updates so you can see when the crowdfund goes live. So be sure to comment down below and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.